Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are going to do a very, very basic glitter tumbler. This is going to be about as basic as it gets. I'm going to use a 20 ounce skinny um, hog doll. That's a 20 ounce skinny with a handle from Hog Stainless Depot. And this is just going to get a regular old glitter. So I'm going to glitter it using the epoxy method. So I'm going to put maybe five mLs of epoxy on the top of the tumbler. And I am going to spread that pretty darn thin across the whole tumbler, including the handle and everything else. And try and get it smooth. I can see where oh, there's a white spot where I missed right there on the inside. And that's a little piece of my stir stick, I believe. So I'm just going to set this on my drying rack for a minute because I have enough epoxy mixed up to do three handled tumblers but I will be right back and we will get this glittered okay so I'm just gonna get a couple of pieces of paper laid out try and protect my surface a little bit um, this one's supposed to be a pale pink and I didn't have the exact pink I wanted so I mixed several pinks up to get to this color Here's my cup, it's ready. And I'm just gonna start pouring on that glitter. You do want as thin a coat of epoxy as possible, like I said. So I do have coverage. I am going to scoop this up and go over this whole thing one more time just so any additional that wants to stick can. Um, I could have used a pale pink base coat but I am out still of a pale pink spray paint so I went with white. So I think in this case, I will put the same glitter in the next coat of epoxy. I'll do it as like a mix in and do the wet epoxy method um, just to cover up any little gappy spots I have. Um, obviously you're not gonna do that with an ombre, but for this, a solid color, it'll work perfectly, but it is beautiful overall. So. I will be back when we are ready for the next coat. Okay, so this is mildly streaky. It's not actually um, as streaky as I expected it to be. But I am still going to add some glitter to the epoxy coat. So I have my epoxy mixed up. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of glitter in. Not a ton just to help fill any spots that need it. We're going to go ahead and get this coat on here.
go ahead and torch this and then let it dry. Okay, so I'm going to get the name on this and get this cup finished up. This is how it came out after the second coat. I did do an initial cleanup on the inside and the rim and sand it around the edge a little bit so it'll have a good um, seal. So I'm going to do my offset. Mm, not on the cup. I'm going to do it on the table. And this is tech wrap vinyl. But whatever vinyl you use is fine. This just had the pale pink that I was looking for. I'm going to go with my preference which is this way. No, actually, I think on this one I'm going to go this direction because of the handle. Um, no matter how you hold it, it would be upside down while you're drinking, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do a standard Okay, we're just going to get a clear coat on here Um, this is my FX Premium, just regular epoxy, long cure. Even though some of the fast sets are good for top coats, I very much prefer a a regular coat of a long curing epoxy for my top coats. Just personal preference. Use whatever epoxy works for you in your environment. Um, when we move into winter, the humidity changes, and then we fire up the pellet stove and it gets very dry in the house. So every season I kind of have to shift what epoxy works for me. So I just always highly recommend people just use what works for them. Not necessarily whatever the current fad in epoxy is or what it seems like everybody else is using. Just use what works for you. I always suggest getting the smallest supply of a new epoxy that you want to try and testing it before you invest in a large amount. Because I've often got epoxies that absolutely will not work in my environment or something that I've used for three months all of a sudden won't work. So, just my opinion on that. Hopefully, this is the last coat for this one. Um, it'll depend on how it stays on the handle. The edge was still a little bit rough going into this coat, so so the handle will be the determining factor on whether this cup needs another coat or not. But that is it for this one. A pretty basic tone-on-tone -tone glitter tumbler. 
on a handled cup. And she is absolutely beautiful. So that is it for this one. And I will see you next time.